How a Cover Six started is a few years back, I had the opportunity to go on a hunt through another organization. And what that hunt did for me um, was life changing. Um, I struggled for years with not even really knowing what was wrong with me. And what I discovered on that trip was the camaraderie that we have and the bonds of brotherhood that we have that when we serve with each other and we serve with each other in combat situations, you know, it's something that you can't recreate in the civilian world. Once I came out of that hunt, uh, it, was, it inspired me you know, to, to come out and start my own organization so I could give back to my brothers and sisters the way that it gave back to me. The biggest focus for Cover Six Outdoors is to, to bring back that camaraderie and that brotherhood and to reinstill that hope and that pride and let guys know that they're not out there alone. Even if it's not a successful hunt, at the end of the day, you go back you know, into camp and have a big meal and you're sitting around talking and everybody can relate. They make new family and new friends and it's a whole support network you know, that they can reach out to after the hunt. Uh, so they know that they're not alone. They know that there's other guys and other girls out there, other ladies that you know, have experienced the same things and they can reach out to them and know that they're not alone. I feel more like I'm home when I'm around fellow veterans that's been over. They know, they know what I'm going to say before I say it because we've all been there and we can relate. A lot of people, they, you can read a book, you can watch movies, but if you don't experience it firsthand, you really don't know the full reality of what somebody went through, the injuries, the after effects soldiers have to live with. A lot of us will be dealing with this for years and years and years to come. And these guys and gals understand that, and that's the reassurance that, hey, when there's guys around, I'm not alone. These kind of trips reinforce that, hey, we need to stick together. I had three bucks come up, a seven point and two eight points, and I sat there and watched them for uh, probably 30 or 45 minutes before I finally got a clear shot at an eight point that I took this morning, a really nice buck. And I was ecstatic, first time hunting on a ranch like that, first time getting to hunt in the snow, and you know, it's amazing going on trips like this. And the, the hunting is a blast, the hunting's fun. It's nice being able to take game and get out in the woods and everything, but what happens at night when everybody's back at the lodge or back at the cabin, just hanging out, having those guys that know where you've been, that you can talk to, you can open up to. It helps a lot to be able to talk with people about that stuff. When you get around guys like a bunch of veterans in a hunting lodge, it's almost reminds you of the good old days. <laughs> it's the best way you can say it, you know. We started hunting yesterday and we hunted all day yesterday and then this morning we ended up driving around finding one to get out and spot and stock. We ended up seeing a big 11 that we thought was a big 11 and ended up shooting a big 10 but it took us probably 30 minutes to kill him. We got out and walked up there and got pretty close to him and he was in the woods, never seen us so that's where I made my shot and ended up killing him. offer all kinds of different adventures, different type of hunts, different type of fishing adventures, but mostly based here in Texas right now. We have archery hunts, we have archery fishing, you know, we run a lot of dog and knife hunts. We're a 100% volunteer organization. For more information, you can follow us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash cover six outdoors, or you can also go to www.cover6outdoors.org and follow us there. I invite everybody, you know, to hop on Facebook, check us out, like us, and follow us, you know, follow what we do. My biggest thing when I started this organization, you know, is our mission first and foremost, but also to be as transparent as possible so everybody can see, you know, what we're doing. And I take a lot of pride in this organization. I do this because it's a passion to help my brother and my sisters.